Hello Pisces and welcome to your November 2019 tarot readings with me. If you are new to my channel dear Pisces, I suggest you please do subscribe so that we are not <laughs> so that you are notified every time I release a new video so that we are notified. Yes, I need to be notified also I'm a Pisces. Yes. All right. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's see how it's going to be the month of November. Good news is going to be better for us. All right. And how is that? The first week starts with you regarding something regarding work. You are pretty, pretty busy. Yes. Uh, pretty Pisces, handsome Pisces there. You are very busy with work. Um, you are doing a lot of paperwork, something regarding paper, administration is seen. Uh, first week also is showing the energies that you are being put in touch uh, with some kind of a professional. This is a feminine energy. It can be you uh, and it is a feminine energy. Uh, this person is very intelligent. No, it cannot be you. Because this person has some selfish uh, tendencies, this is what we see. So um, you are going to be put in touch with this kind of a person. You are dealing with this kind of a colleague or a person who is extremely selfish but is very intelligent and knows the job well. Uh, but of course the downside is that they are selfish. So just take them like, you know, kids, uh, you know, like... I want this, I want that, you know, <laughs> these kind of things. Uh, and um, try to see that they don't um, step over you, all right? Because there will be a tendency when they might try to, you know, just dominate you in some way or try to um, put you, you know, a bit lower uh, or put you or rather take the cherry on the cake so just be careful about that in the first week my dear Pisces uh, and this especially I'm seeing this is related to work field okay and um, this is supposed to be like for example if you're uh, on a project together with someone then take care of this feminine energy you might all already know who this person is okay it's very subtle this uh, kind of person can have some kind of jealousies also to towards you my dear Pisces be, uh, be it for male Pisces or lady Pisces um, I see that uh, there is this tendency that this kind of person can be um, good at their work but at the same time have some kind of you know not very positive energies like that is that jealousy energy is very much present in them so please be careful of the jealous energies in the first week and if you yourself are feeling uh, a bit selfish then selfish you better be fish don't be selfish okay so <laughs> so uh, just take care of that that being selfish is um, it shows that you don't have enough to give away all right and Pisces are very generous, right? So they like to give, okay? And when you're selfish, that means I don't have much, so I cannot give what, I, what is belonging to me, yeah? You have a lot, you have abundant, and the more you give, the more you get. It's always multiplied by, all right? Whenever we give, it is getting multiplied. Whenever we keep, it gets subtracted, all right? So just know that if you feel this tendency towards someone, towards anyone around you, just try to curb that energy inside of you and I don't think there is anything to get jealous I mean I've not seen many Pisces getting jealous I mean at least I didn't come in contact with such Pisces yet all right they are very generous they keep on giving so jealousy is not your trait all right so don't try to invite it in your life and you are no less than anyone so you don't need to be jealous of anyone comparison kills happiness my dear Pisces just know that so first week all about work and being careful with this certain kind of this feminine energy it can also be a, uh, an ex all right for the male Pisces it can be an ex who is um, trying to create a problem or your ex-wife or after your divorce your ex-partner is trying to create some kind of problem so you better be careful uh, around this person because it can create some kind of tensions in your life so you know uh, be clear with them uh, don't be rude but uh, try to handle it with uh, diplomacy my dear Pisces all right then we go to the second week now the second week is all about money, finances, money is coming in hmm, uh, to Pisces uh, and uh, you are being rewarded as if um, 
somehow uh, there is some kind of a new contract for some Pisces which appears through a friend and I see a male friend who is galloping towards you a male energy okay um, it would be wrong to say male energy because you know we we all have the yin and yang inside of us the, the feminine and the masculine both exist inside of us for some uh, it can one of them can take the lead all right even like in in the women uh, the masculine energy some of them can have that uh, masculine energy and in men some of them can have that feminine energy so in the second week the way you look at it it is uh, for me it is the masculine energy which is uh, coming to help you in the form of a friend this person is very very um, sorted out uh, is very genuine is very honest okay so if anything is coming from this kind of a person you please accept it because it is going to um, I would say it is going to help you to uh, yeah to 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 excel in your on your path career path be it sentimental path because for lady Pisces I see the second week can bring in um, a person into their life who is very very um, uh, who is very honest and who is very genuine and who is very well placed uh, in life like is very well settled all right and um, this person is coming towards you so expect help from a masculine energy in the second week my dear Pisces and I see that it's a lucky week as far as finances are concerned for students um, it is like um, a kind of a new friend that you make and this new friend is uh, uh, this this new friend is um, offering you uh, very good advice is you know it's somebody genuine all right walks into your life in the second week and it's all a very positive energy uh, card my dear Pisces and yes um, luck is on your side in the second week so if there are new contracts coming in that I see uh, can be quite possible in the second week uh, they are coming up and uh, they can be lucrative offers as far as finances are concerned those of the Pisces um, who are looking for jobs uh, well they are getting lucky this is what I'm seeing I feel uh, some Pisces who are looking for jobs now they're the air is clearing for you if you want to make a job change if you want to go for that good job which pays you well and which has good conditions well November is going to be quite a month for it uh, it's going to be a, like a you know twist is taking place and um, uh, I see that there are very positive energies as far as you want to achieve something, okay, achievement energy, be it in the form of sentiments, be it in the form of um, uh, profession, be it in the form of health, your well-being, but spirituality, uh, travels is really going to be good for the second week I'm seeing these energies. So my dear Pisces, you start sending your series right now if you're looking for a job change. Um, you never know the second week what it brings, some kind of positive influence, some kind of friend is giving, getting something on the table and you should pick it up. Yeah, consider of course the pros and the cons before, not just blindly, all right? And then we go to the third week. And as you see, wow, wow, wow. Where are you going, my dear Pisces, in the third week of November? Hmm? A foreign trip, a foreign travel, a lot of travel it's seen. You're planning a long distance travel. If you have been stuck, my dear Pisces, of uh, being planning to go somewhere and you couldn't then the third week is favoring you to take that bus that train that plane your car <laughs> your mobile <laughs> and your ship and then you go all right so this is the sec third week's energy for you whatever is foreign is coming from the foreign uh, countries the countries which are foreign to you strangers for you um, or maybe uh, yeah offshores yeah this is very much favored in the third week of November I see a lot of travel for Pisces there is a lot of movement energy there's a lot of planning around um, you know going to a foreign country this is what is seen in the third week wonderful wonderful energy once again my dear Pisces I'm so happy for this card I wish I can travel also <laughs> I'm just praying yes please God <laughs> yeah <laughs> because I'm a Pisces also so this applies to me also <laughs> all right so um, yes in the third week um, 
there is something beginning whatever you're beginning in the third week of November my dear Pisces um, is going to get fulfilled in the coming nine months it can be a baby Wow, <laughs> so sweet. It can be um, a project which is near to you, that your baby project that will take birth after nine months. You are entering into a period of luck, a period of chance, my dear uh, Pisces. This is what is seen in the third week. And um, the third week's energy is telling you, dear Pisces, that wisdom is the key to happiness. Be wise in your choices. All right, be wise in your choice, no matter what comes with the pros and cons about it. Uh, be it a sentimental uh, or a love offer, uh, be it a job offer, whatever is coming at this point, uh, my dear Pisces, you have to be wise in your choice, all right? Uh, and for those Pisces who will be traveling in the third week of November, uh, be wise because there will be a lot of opportunities, a lot of people around you and you will get a lot of offers at this point of time. So choose your path well at this time because this path is what is going to lead you in nine months down the lane. All right. So if you choose something wrong at this point of time, uh, even though the energies are good, but sometimes, you know, the emotions play a very... Uh, funny role in the Piscean lives, right? Our emotions overtake us and then they go and stand ahead and then we go and we fall into the valley and we don't want that this time. All right, my dear Pisceans, so make that choice well. Know that today what I'm choosing, uh, after nine months or a year, I'm going to reap what I'm sowing right now. So be careful where you're stepping, all right? Where do you step at this point of time in the third week, especially where so many opportunities are present? Uh, for those po um, poisson, the poisson is Pisces in French. Uh, for those Pisces um, who are um, into import exports or who are networking with people in different countries, it's a very very good time, fruitful time for you. You will network and you will find something to expand into. There will be an expansion in your activities. You might f make friends of uh, different countries. You might learn about different cultures. You might almost enroll yourself into some kind of a course where you are learning about different cultures that are completely foreign, uh, my dear Piscean, for you. And then we go to the last week. And what is that? Wow. Whatever positive you can expect about work, my dear Pisces, is favored here in the fourth week of November. Wow, wow, wow. That's nice, right? A lot of work. <laughs> lot of work. So I think some of the Pisces are joining uh, or signing a new contract for their jobs. Students are studying pretty hard and they are going the good path. Just my dear students, uh, if and even for the other Pisceans also, generally speaking, um, if you have a problem concentrating, okay, on what you want to do, uh, I do a small technique every time and it is very necessary for me because, you know, the Piscean mind, how we are going into different worlds, we travel here and there. Yeah, I mean, I really do travel <laughs> in the reality in my, you know, those astral travels and things like that. So I have to be concentrated and, you know, targeted, focused on one thing. So what can help, especially for student Pisces, I'm telling you, candles help. You light a candle and you sit in front of it and look at the flame of it. Or uh, for example, uh, if, you have the, uh, if, the, if you have the photo of a deity, you just, you know, fix um, a point on, for example, uh, yeah, like I will just put a kind of, a, you know, a kind of a dot on the forehead or something like that and I'll just be fixed. But I feel the candle flame really helps also because it clears up uh, whatever is negative inside of you because it clears your vision when you're looking at the candle and you meditate. Five minutes is enough, okay? It not only improves your concentration, but, but it increases light in your eyes, you know. Uh, so this can help very much to stay focused. So in the fourth week, my dear Piscean students especially, be focused, concentrated on your work because there is nothing that you cannot achieve at this point of time. Study well, but the focus matters, all right? Because scattered attention doesn't lead us to the goal. When I 
concentration is focused when we have one goal in front of us all right then this is where we know we have to go there but if we start looking at everything around then we don't reach anywhere nowhere and now here are the same spellings okay it's just the gap between them so try to discriminate now here and you get them too, cl too close to each other it is nowhere yeah so don't get lost all right just discriminate be focused i want to achieve this i'm going this path and achieve it my dear pisces there is nothing and as it, as it is pisces are gifted by um, the manifestation powers so you are the magnets you are going to attract what you want and in the fourth week you are attracting very good uh, job opportunities in your life you are completely immersed in your work you are giving it your all devotedly uh, my dear pisces and i would say not just give it in the hard working way devotedly give it intuitively also in your work my dear pisces because this will um really reap rewards for you in the coming years uh, my dear pisces so wow that was a wonderful reading and i really enjoyed <laughs> doing this reading for you all um and i say um that i wish you all all the best uh, for the month of november make the most of this wonderful energies and yes please be careful with the you know the 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 jealousies so just you know protect yourself against those energies all right protect yourself against those energies uh if you feel suddenly irritated and things like that or start getting uh you know bad dreams or the nightmares every time just um take a bowl and put some salt in it and put it on the side of your bed all right or take a lemon and just spray with the lemon in your hand because lemon neutralizes it disinfects okay disinfection not just of you know giving a nice aroma and things like that but it disinfects the energies also so wherever i mean uh, it's really i would like to tell you just quickly uh, without uh, making this video very long is that um, in september i was feeling very very bad inside of me i don't know if some people must have uh, you know understood that i was not really well if you had looked closer into things i was tired and i didn't know why i was so tired i was sweating like anything i was feeling irritated i mean i I'm, i'm quite patient okay but the smallest things you know like, like why this is kept here you know like on small things i was getting really irritated when the doctor he said oh everything is fine things and I felt inside of me that something invisible was attacking me and then at that time it's like I always pray for answers okay and I prayed and I meditated and I could just see <laughs> fruits you know like fruits are the remedy you know so I understood what God was trying to tell me here and I got this lemon and I took it in my hand and while doing my prayers at night I just prayed so whatever is your faith A prayer is um uh, you know what you're sending to the universe if you don't believe in god but for me i believe in god so for me i send those prayers to god to the almighty all right and to the mother nature to the mother universe all right so just pray with that just take it in your hand like that cover it and just pray on that lemon or whatever you are wearing in your neck or whatever all right and just i took it and i prayed and that night i put it under my pillow while i went to sleep you will not believe <laughs> in one and a half day what has happened i slept very well i had very good dreams next day when i woke up i was like as if i felt that there was a cloud on me which was completely removed as if you know uh, the curtains were completely removed and i felt i could see things very clearly now as if some mist had you know taken up all the place i mean it was very strange for me uh, but i had to do that because i wanted to get rid of that negativity that was trying to attack me and that went and in one and a half day i had put lemons everywhere in my house uh, after one and a half day when i saw the lemon it was dark because it had absorbed all that was attacking me and normally when are we attacked is when we are the most vulnerable and when are we the most vulnerable is when we sleep because that time we are open to both positive and negative forces all right and at that time maybe i was a bit weak because i had not kept well and after that 
I was a bit tired, okay, subtly speaking also. So I had caught something which was thrown at me, most probably, indirectly. I know that it was. And that got absorbed there. And then I just, you know, got rid of it. So I would like to tell you, my dear Pisces, if you feel something like that in this month's energy, as we have very good energies, but there is that factor of uh, jealous energies or jealousies or, you know, bad vibes uh, that are being sent to you, then at that time, try out this remedy, my dear and get rid of the negativity all right this is very simple things this is nothing these are just the elements of nature that we are using these are just the household things that we use just to you know clear up things like we burn incense to clear up and to give nice aroma and to clear up all the negative energies of our house the salt which neutralizes and the lemon which disinfects which absorbs negativity all right or negative energies that anybody can send upon you so this is where i would like to tell you please take care of your your auric body of your spiritual self meditate and pray all right my dear Pisces so thank you very much and sorry for that extended blah 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 <laughs> not the blah blah but it is something very important you will know it when you do it all right so thank you very much may God bless you abundantly and see you in the last month of the year wow already November <laughs> so please do like share and comment and see you in December and um, enjoy until then. Bye-bye. <laughs> God bless. Bye.